Hello all, welcome to The Truth Show, and in this video I will be talking about the reared case against Britney Spears. This was a heavily requested video. Sorry, I have a lot going on. I can't get to every single video and every single story that comes out right away. I just can't, unfortunately. I wish I had hope, but I don't. <laughs> but anyways, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what the heck is going on. Oh, and why a lot of people are talking about it. Let's talk. Okay, as we all know, Britney Spears has been in and out of rehab for some time now, for years. We also know her father has been her sole conservator for some time now. If you don't know what a conservatorship is, is someone that hold guardianship over someone. But since her father has been hospitalized because a near fatal colon rapture and her conservator co-conservator that is Andrew Wallet resigned and said this Sub substantial detriment irreparable harm and immediate danger will result to the conservative and her estate if the relief requested herein and not granted on an ex part basis meaning if he's not granted resignation he will sue and a whole lot more and it's basically what that was saying in a very um unnecessary worded way but i guess lawyers have to appear smart all the time <laughs> meanwhile Brittany has entered a psychiatric facility to focus on self-care and to deal with the stress from her father's sudden illness at least that's what a pr says but i'll get into this a whole a lot later things are not what they seem to people but it's also been leaked that she's been held against her will in this facility since January of 2019, they claimed the hospitalization and the Las Vegas show domination cancellation were ordered by Spears father after she decided to not take her medication and violate the rules and her conservatorship, specifically driving Britney Spears, Graham and several news outlets to question the length of this conservatorship as it was supposed to end. Pay attention after the circus tour in 2009 it's supposed to end then but it never did people are now accusing britney's father of alleged abuse of power and violation of human rights considering spears has endured under a conservatorship by her father and the mismanagement of lou taylor who was responsible for initiating the conservatorship in the first place oh it gets deeper it seems, and this is according to TMZ, that Spears had not been formally diagnosed with bipolar disorder, even though she's receiving medication for it. Oh, yes. Then in April 2019, Spears' fan held a protest outside the West Hollywood City Hall, drawing attention towards the prolonged conservatorship, suggesting she was being detained against her will. But later, and I'm sure it was forced by her lawyers and um, her father and her PR accusing her ex-manager Sam Lutfi of leaking the emails about Lou Taylor mm -hmm. although she didn't deny the allegations anyway then later on it was announced the Spears will have new conservatorship and the hearing was uh, set for May 10th of this year and Spears did attend it she attended it with her mother but following the hearing an investigation was ordered into Spears conservatorship because according to alleged reports by TMZ she stated in court that she was forcibly put into that mental health facility like many other singers before her some are rebel against it like Chris Brown he rebelled against it then on September 3rd of 2019 it was reported that Spears father allegedly abused her 13 year old son Sean Preston Oh yes, it was told that the law enforcement spoke to the blast to report the incident, stating Kevin Federline filed a police report on August 25th to report later that James, or Jamie, because I've read, you know, uh, her father was named James, and then I'm reading her, his name was Jamie, so I'm just going to say Jamie because that seemed to be the most popular um, repeated name. 
Anyway, it seems um, Spears was reportedly so enraged during an argument with their son, Sean Preston, that he broke down a door to get to the young boy and the incident had sparked a child abuse investigation. Brittany then sent her sons back to their father's home for safety, even though it was still her custodial visit time. Since then, Spears' two sons have since been granted a three-year restraining order against their grandfather. Oh, yes. Oh, and I'm still not done yet. Her mother, Lynn Spears, has been saying for years to end Jamie as Brittany conservatorship, but the judge rejected her claims. Lynn felt Jamie had done a poor job, something she's been saying since the Free Brittany movement last spring. However, despite all of this that I've told you about what her father had done and things of that nature, this judge still decided that Jamie should continue on as conservator of Britney's estate, meaning all of her business affairs. As what was reported, Jamie has temporarily bowed out, but I heard he was forced to step down from handling the other part of the conservatorship that takes care of Britney's medical needs and so on. It seems that her case manager uh, was hired. Her name is uh, Jody Montgomery, who has been appointed conservator until January. This is until January of next year. And that's when Jamie will retake the reins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He is still taking care of all of her business affairs, and things, but it has been told that Brittany has not spoken to her father lately and reports have also said that they weren't speaking long before the incident. So, you know, this whole um, conservatorship and all this abuse and things of that nature, it's just the brink of their problems together. Anyway, meanwhile, Brittany has been doing well, you know, judging from reports, as they claim she is, but she still goes through her cycles. This is what uh, was reported by TMZ. Um, they posted a video of Brittany at the awards ceremony for her boyfriend, Sam, and she was so uncomfortable, she beelined it for the car before even walking into the event. Oh, yes. Now, remember that Jamie has had Brittany on drugs for years so to suddenly be taken off is like a veil lifted that she may not be ready for you see it's easy to control someone when they're drugged up oh I'm still not done yet now that TMZ has outed the false diagnose that her father may have paid the doctor to keep under wraps and is also responsible for Brittany medical treatment he died suddenly just weeks before the judge yeah in terms of her conservatorship case were supposed to have been received and reported focusing on whether she was receiving appropriate treatment so that doctor listen to what i'm saying you see this doctor timothy benson dying in santa monica california on august 24th the cause of death has not been diagnosed but sources tell us that this psychiatrist who's about 48 years old died from an aneurysm and you know that can also be done from a blow to the head Okay, that can be done from a blow to the head. Wow, this is getting freakier by the minute. I will keep you posted. However, good luck, Brittany. This is so sad. And if her father is responsible for drugging Brittany all of these years, among other things to keep her alive, not to mention him already proving he is a violent man, judging from how he treated her on his grandson, then this just got really freaking deep. And he may be on the verge of losing his cash cow now. And he may be guilty. Well, you know how crazy and desperate people get when they're on the brink of losing everything. I suggest we pray for Britney Spears. She is an example of what Hollywood can do to you if you're not careful. Well, that's it. Tell me your thoughts below. And don't forget to subscribe to all of my platforms. All the links are below. Hope to see you all there. Love you all. Bye.